Hi everyone, this is Mike Taras from UtradeFX. Today's uh, presentation, we are going to take a look at Williams percentage R. But before we get started, let's get a quick look at our disclaimer. Today's training is designed to instruct in some of VertexFX charting program. We will be providing some guidelines for using certain features in the software. However, nothing in this training should be intended as or should be construed to be a recommendation to buy or sell any specific security or currency. The information technical analyst technique and software presented today should be used by investors who are aware of risk inherent in trading. UtradeFX shall have no liability for any investment decisions and trading strategies or any information provided in connection with the company. Okay, let's get started. Uh, first of all, uh, this is the Vertex FX platform uh, for UtradeFX. Uh, we press uh, on the charts, add indicator, we go to the oscillators and we add the Williams R. Uh, I like reading 14 on Williams R, it's quite effective. Uh, um, first, uh, let me give you an idea about the Williams R. It was developed by Larry Williams. Uh, Williams percentage R is a momentum indicator that works much like a stochastic oscillator. It's especially popular for measuring overbought and oversold levels. The scale ranges between 0 and minus 100, as we see over here. Um, usually, uh, they use the minus 20 and minus 80 levels. Uh, the minus 20 indicates as an uh, overbought level, and minus uh, 80 is uh, an oversold level. Just double click on, uh, on it, and uh, uh, you can, you see here the minus 20, just double click on it and uh, press minus 20. So and you press apply, so it's minus 20. And here uh, you press minus 80 and you apply, so it's minus 80. The nice thing about the vertex is that you can uh, place notes on the lines you have. Uh, so we can press a note. Uh, we can see it's uh, oversold, oversold. Uh, and uh, we apply and you place a note over here. Uh, we can see overbought, overbought. And you press apply. Um, I have to mention something about the Williams R. Uh, it works really nicely in a range, but uh, tends not to work in a trend. Uh, so uh, before you work on the moving, uh, on uh, using uh, the Williams R, uh, you have to know that you are trading in a range. Uh, if it's a range trading, uh, the indicator will work uh, quite nicely, as I will show you over here. Let me show you the range. The market was trading uh, in this big range. This is the big range. Okay. Uh, around, let me put it uh, correctly. You can move it like this also. So this is the range. This is the big range. And uh, let's go over here. So you see these are support levels. And this is uh, the upper bar. Let's say these are the tops of the uh, big range. Let's look at uh, Williams R. Now it's in a range. Uh, you see here it gave us uh, a, a, a nice high. Uh, it was minus uh, 12, around minus 10, uh, very close to the zero line. Uh, it was a sell signal. And as you see, the market actually dropped. And here it was on an extreme around the minus 95. And uh, the market rallied uh, to these levels. Here it gave us a sell signal several times and then gave us another sell signal and eventually the market dropped. Uh, the Williams R, as I mentioned earlier, works really nicely in a range. Um, I would uh, search for divergences. I drew these lines earlier. These are the divergence lines. You see this bottom and you have a new bottom. And uh, here uh, the RSI's, uh, the sorry, the Williams R had uh, higher bottoms. So the market was going lower and the Williams R was going higher. It's a divergence and the actual market rallied. Here you have a top and a higher top and you have uh, here another top. Look, I want to draw uh, a line and another top. So the opposite their direction It's another divergence uh, and the market actually dropped. I want to go uh, using the Williams R in an actual trend. Let's go to a trend. Okay, this is a big trend. 
as you see, we look at this section. In this trend, the market, again, the Williams are kept on giving us uh, uh, sell signals uh, and selling, 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 as you see. And most likely, you wouldn't have made money using the Williams are in a trend. Um, so, uh, to recap, what we, uh, 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 the idea about the Williams are first of all, uh, when you trade the Williams are, uh, try to find the range. Um, uh, and uh, uh, sometimes in a range uh, you have to be consistently selling uh, like I mentioned over here you sell several times and uh, you have uh, you sell also over here so you have to take care of the margin you, you trade in uh, and uh, the market drops uh, it's nice also to look at the divergences that the Williams are and the exaggerated levels around the, the zero line or around the 96 line and also, as I mentioned, it doesn't work well in, uh, in a look at this downward movement. Uh, in this downward movement, uh, the Williams are kept on giving us a uh, buy signal. Uh, some people use uh, the 50 line uh, as an indicator for the Williams are to trade. They just press uh, the 50 line over here. Uh, so once the market goes under the 50 line, they sell once the market goes once the Williams R goes above the 50 line it buys it's a good technique but you have to be cautious um, uh, best of luck uh, and uh, hope hope that you join me on uh, the other indicators uh, I'll be explaining uh, and have a great day